Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Cat Kelly's Great Eight lead. Will he win the individual championship? Now, photo goes directly to their photo owners. Please subscribe and comment. Just stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings Race Series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, Kai Kelly is currently number two in the main event points, and he is number one in the grade eight, which is the individual championship. Now, Kai did really good on the start of the season, especially with a brand new car, and he is second in points, only being beat by Damon Merchant, which obviously is even running stronger in the main event now they both did really good they even actually ran back-to-back -back finals at one point this season so the Pappy, which is guy kelly's new name i guess which he decided to put in the throttle blades of the screw blown noonan 49 hemi he is running this year has a pretty good lead, or actually not that big of a lead, but he is running really good in the grade eight. He is number one in the individual championship, followed by Axeman, which is, I believe, four points behind. Now, Axeman will not be running in the grade eight the next event, which is roughly in a week and a half at Tulsa. So, Kai Kelly, if he does really good at the next grade eight, he could actually capitalize on that and actually increase his lead. Now, Kai had an incident getting into the wall at the last NPK race, but that was fixed, and the Buick is running better than ever. So, especially coming out with a brand new car that he did test, but coming out with a brand new car and brand new combination, which he does have a tuner, Adam, and another very well-known tuner as well running with him which i believe is jeff pierce and this car is rolling that combination is making a lot of power and it's very consistent i've always said kai was a front runner and was usually number two in the last couple of seasons of no prep kings with a nitrous combination that doesn't make as much power as a screw blower combination and it's a lot harder to tune so when you give Kai a combination, and Adam, and any other tuner that he has, that makes the most horsepower, at least compared to a Pro Charger or to the Nitrous Combo, and also is easier to tune, he would be very dangerous. And he is leading in the individual championships. So I believe Kai is a very good runner for the individual championship. I mean, we still have 10 more races, 10 more points races remaining this season, and we've only had four points races with one qualifier race, which was the beginning. So I believe Kai could win this year, but he has very, very tough competition. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think?